I've played this game before and you get all keen and carried away and you think right what I'm going to do I'm going to knock this chair apart and then I'll re-glue all the joints and I'll make it beautiful and you knock all the joints apart and the ends of the joints split and it all goes horribly wrong and you never get it back together again properly so I'm going to cheat I'm going to bodge this chair uh, leaving it in one piece what I'm going to do is I'm going to use where are we? I'm going to use some cyanoacrylate I'm just going to wash it in all of the joints and let that cure and that should make for a, a good solid solution without doing any damage by pulling it apart that's the theory give it a couple of days we'll see how it works in practice meanwhile the trusty Skoda and I have got a very important job to go and do so I'm going to be leaving Leon C for the rest of the day Look at that sort of mist over the water, but it's lovely, lovely weather today. And I thought I could just spare a few moments just to do a quick history lesson. Oh, bumpity bump, there's speed bumps along here to stop me and the Skoda going too quickly. But we're driving through Old Lee. Old Lee used to be a fishing port. It still is a fishing port, but it also used to be a port for commerce and shipping. And along here is a wharf, or a jetty, call it what you will. Oh, this is bumpy, isn't it? That's the old customs house there. Um, yeah, it used to be a wharf along here. The ship used to uh, come into. And what's on the site of it now is a pub called the Mayflower. Hmm, I wonder why they call it the Mayflower. Well there it is, the Mayflower public house and tea rooms. Because where we're at is what's known as Mayflower Wharf, or Mayflower uh, Jetty. This is in the heart of Old Leon Sea. That used to be the railway station, now it's the sailing club. And from this wharf a little boat sailed. And some of you will have heard of it. She was called the Mayflower and she carried a group of people that some of you will describe as the Pilgrim Fathers. So there we are. This isn't where I'm going today, but I just thought we'd take sufficient time just to uh, remind us of perhaps what we're going to be talking about later. Hello, good afternoon. Um, right, we're all friends here, aren't we? Uh, and we're all gentlemen. Um, do you remember when you was a child, when you were a child, and you looked forward to something and you planned for it and you thought, oh, this is going to be great, and then it all went fizzle pop and it was a disappointment. Well, I needed to make this little end to the video that I've just put together. I had to go to a town in Essex called Billericay and I thought people living in the colonies in the New World would like to see Billericay because some of the founding fathers came from Billericay, they came down the hill, some of them came to Leon Sea where I live and they got on a boat called the Mayflower and they sailed the ocean blue and all that sort of stuff and they arrived in what we now call the United States of America in those days I don't know quite what we called it but uh, I wasn't there then anyway I knew that I was going to Billericay I thought I'm going to take my camera with me I'm going to film it 
and I'm going to show it to all you new world people. Didn't work out. Uh, I made the preparatory film, I did all of that, and then going to Billericay took a road that I didn't expect to and actually went to the place that I was going to without going through Billericay, which made a lot of sense really. So I'm just apologising. I can't show you Billericay in Essex. There is a Billerica in Massachusetts. Massachusetts, yes, Massachusetts, the town where all the dentures come from. Um, I can't show it to you today, but you haven't lost your opportunity. So there we are, that's the end of the video. Uh, sorry, I'll have another go later.